what is up everybody it is your boy jay figs back with another video man today i got another mail call for you guys as you guys can see we got some crazy figures here today absolutely goaded man one i'm actually looking forward to opening so bad right now is this bobby lashley man finally gonna have this new updated us title Another one that I'm actually looking forward to opening is this Mr. America. First time in the line. So let's just stop talking, boys. Let's get right into the video. Let's go. Now, before I do go ahead and just absolutely annihilate these boxes and show you guys the figures, I want to give a huge shout out to my brother for finding this Seth Rollins that I've been needing for quite some time and uh, just giving me this one, two, three kid. Pretty good figures and a bit of an older one. There's obviously updated one, two, three kids. But anyways, man, it's a great figure nonetheless. Has that beautiful tag team championship that I love so much. If you guys saw my previous video, but enough talking, man, let's go. Now, like with every single unboxing on the channel, I don't even have to tell you guys what's going on right now. Trusty Babe Knife, boys. Let's get it. Oh, whoa, so I'm just going to go left to right real quick. Uh, obviously, going to fast forward. You guys already know how this works. Let's go. Going to go ahead and open up Seth now. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Mr. America or Hogan now. Let's go, boys. All right, guys, moving into Bobby Lashley now. Let's go. Alright guys, now for the final figure to be opened, it's going to be this 1-2-3 kid, so let's just get into this, let's go. Alright guys, here are all of the figures finally out of the packaging. I know that took kind of a long time for me, but it's going to be fast forward for you, obviously. But let's just get into it, boys. Let's stop yapping and let's go through all of their accessories real quick before we get into an in-detail look at the figures. Let's go. Now, starting from the left, the only real accessory that Seth comes with is this nice little rubber jacket. Uh, I'll be honest, in the box, it looked kind of stiff, but when you take it out, this freaking like rubber is super just like stretchy. I actually plan on cutting off these sleeves and putting like a cloth leather jacket under. I saw someone do it on Instagram and I thought it looked really nice. So that's really why I picked up this figure. But I'm not going to lie, taking it out the packaging, it's a really good figure. But anyways, he also does come with these two interchangeable hands. Uh, mic holding hands, obviously. One black gloved and uh, just a nice little flesh tone hand right here for Seth. Uh, I actually am in dire need of just completely black gloved hands because I'm working on some shield member customs. So uh, that's perfect. But uh, let's look at Mr. America's accessories now, boys. Let's go. All right, guys. Now for Mr. America's accessories, let's start off with this beautiful weight belt that he comes with. The Mr. America weight belt right there with the two stars on the left and right with the little bald eagle right there in the middle. Uh, this is actually really nice. Um, I was actually, before uh, opening this, I was thinking of just acetoning the decal off and maybe putting this on like a Cody Rhodes or something. But man, this is actually a really beautiful weight belt. I'm actually considering keeping it just like this so I can display it on the Mr. America figure itself. But anyways, moving on, he actually comes with this beautiful head sculpt right here. And I'll tell you what, this is beautiful from Mattel, man. As you can see, it's like a masked figure, but man, the top is like rubber and it kind of like goes up there. I'm kind of having trouble here because it's my weak finger, but as you guys can see, it comes up there. So absolutely beautiful touch there from Mattel. But nonetheless, man, this is a beautiful Hulk Hogan head sculpt. Uh, looks great, man. I really do like it. Uh, obviously going to keep that one on though. But uh, man, this is beautiful right here. Really love this. And uh, next accessory that Mr. America comes with are these like, dude, I don't even know what the hell these are called, but like these little fluffy things that go around his neck that he literally always wears man these are beautiful uh not really i hate these but i mean it's a pretty cool accessory obviously uh iconic with mr america and hulk hogan just in general 
Uh, red, white, and blue because he's Mr. America, obviously. Uh, let's get into the hands that he comes with. He comes with one mic holding hand and one actually comes on the figure by default. He comes with two pointing hands right here. Uh, pretty nice because I do need these as well. And he comes with a Kawhi Leonard hand, chop hand, whatever you want to call this. The other one is obviously there on the figure. And now if we grab the figure, he comes with this beautiful, not really beautiful, it's pretty basic, but I mean, it, it looks great. It's a Mr. America white like tank top, obviously synonymous with Hulk Hogan. Has the nice little slits right there, the nice little distressings. Absolutely beautiful figure, man. I wasn't expecting much from this. Oh, as you guys can see there with the nice boots. But anyways, let's move on to Bobby Lashley's accessories, boys. Let's go. Now, like Rollins, uh, Bobby Lashley also doesn't come with too many accessories, as you guys can see here. He basically just comes with this United States Championship, which I have been needing because I don't have this belt. If you guys saw my previous video, like I said before. Uh, but man, this title is really nice. I'm actually a really big fan of this championship. It's so good looking, man. Uh, I feel like they really never miss with their WWE, I mean, their United States championships. They're so nice, man. Always. They're always bangers. But he comes with one mic holding hand, and the other one is right there on the figure. It's gloved. He comes with a, a fisted hand, gloved again. And he comes with two pointing hands, which are really nice because... If you guys uh, don't watch my shorts or don't follow me on Instagram, I made two custom Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley figures. And I have been looking for some pointing fingers in this skin tone and I just don't have any, unfortunately. So now that I have these, this is going to go perfect with my customs and it's going to look great. So absolutely glad I freaking got those finally. But now let's move on to the 123 Kid, boys. Let's go. Now talk about basic, talk about no accessories, man. The 123 Kid really only comes with this wwf wwe world tag team championship and i'm not even mad at it because i absolutely love this title man i need more of this title i only have one pair but man this freaking belt if you guys watch my video like i said man i keep saying the same goddamn thing but boys if you guys don't have this title i suggest you guys try to find these titles for cheap man these are absolutely beautiful in hand i used to not be a big fan of these but man it's so good looking man literally on any tag team you put this on it's gonna look freaking goaded but yeah i'm gonna give you guys a closer in-depth look at all the figures now let's go now we're gonna start off with rollins here he comes with this nice little blackout gear with the nice little subtle hints of burgundy and silver there I believe this is the Monday Night Messiah gear, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong, though, but this is the top pick, Seth Rollins. Uh, I'll be honest. I had low expectations opening this figure, but, man, this is so nice. It has that new it has that new thigh, like the new thighs on this Seth, and it looks absolutely beautiful. I don't really like the skinny uh, legs, the skinny thighs for Rollins, so this is a great touch. Glad they made him like this. Comes with a nice little black uh, knee pads there. Uh, this one obviously has the burgundy on there And I also believe this is the new kick pad mold as well if you guys can't see right there uh, It could be me, but I feel like these just look different uh, These look really new like different than the the old ones as you guys can see I'll show you guys right now the one two three kid kick pads, but these look way different These also came on the ultimate edition Rollins, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it He comes with this absolutely beautiful head scan as well I forgot to mention that this is one head sculpt I don't have in my collection, and this is going to look really freaking badass on my Ultimate Edition Rollins. But yeah, moving on to Mr. America, guys. Let's go. Now, for Mr. America or Hulk Hogan, whatever you want to call him, he comes with this beautiful, uh, just patriotic red, white, and blue freaking American freaking gear right here. Uh, let's start off with these boots, man. Hogan always has the best boots, man. Absolutely beautiful. Has that, like, uh, airbrush detail, like the, the airbrush art on the boots, man. Got the stars, the red flames. The blue streaks. Those also are blue flames, I believe. It has like two eyes right there. I guess it's supposed to be like some bald eagle eyes or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's got another like eagle right there on the boots. Absolutely beautiful stuff from Hogan. Got the mask right there with the big star. Unfortunately, like it just it just falls down. Uh, like You can't like put it up or anything. It just falls down immediately. So kind of unfortunate. I also don't really like this right here, that this mold right here. It literally prevents the figure from going up. So that's kind of unfortunate. But anyways, uh, it's a pretty decent figure. It's a first time in the line figure. So those really are the ones you want to be picking up because those always become rare in the future. But I know there is a chase variant on this figure. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know if I'm really going to chase that down. I don't really care for it. This will do for now. But yeah, that's uh, Mr. America for you guys. Uh, really nice figure, actually. really like it. Moving on to lastly, boys. Let's go. Now moving on to lastly here. This figure, um, I don't know, man. I'm not really a big fan of Lashley gears. Just has the uh, nice little black and yellow gear right here. Got the nice little Bobby Lashley logo right there on the right leg. Uh, unfortunately, they don't do like sculpts right here for his belts and his zippers, which I kind of don't like. I wish they would have gone the little extra mile to just uh, put that in there for us. 
but there you go you get the blood the gold detail right there on the left leg it says what is that the almighty era so it's pretty cool i mean pretty basic nothing too crazy uh i honestly prefer the top picks red gear way better than this one got the nice little black boots there uh yeah like i said nothing too crazy with this lashley uh moving on to the one two three kid now let's go now, this is one that has a lot of detail, actually. Um, I'm not a big fan of the 1, 2, 3 kid. Uh, I don't really know his moveset or anything. I don't think I've ever seen a match from him either. But yeah, I got the nice little kid right there on the front of the gear. The front of the, what is this, like a singlet? I don't even know, man. What the hell is this? Uh, it says 1, 2, 3 uh, all over the gear, man. Literally so nice. 1, 2, 3 right there in the black, yellow, and purple right there. Uh, got the nice little blue singlet. Long hair. This is obviously X-Pac. If you guys didn't know, X-Pac, whatever you want to call him. But uh, like I was saying earlier, here is the uh, the old kick pad mold right here. This is a bit of an older figure. So this is a nice example that I can show you guys right here. But yeah, it's totally different as you guys can see. Uh, I really like the new mold way better. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, because it's newer, it's probably better for the figure. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, I was I had low expectations for it, but I mean, it's pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. Solid uh, 8 out of 10. Got this nice little open knee pads that I really like. But yeah, let's wrap up the video, boys. Let's go. But wrapping up the video, guys, that is going to be it for today, man. Absolutely crazy figures. Probably, in my opinion, my best mail call in terms of, like, just the figures, like, you know, like, the aesthetic uh, that I just liked the most. But here is, like, a nice little freaking little 360 for you guys so you guys can see the figures in all their glory. I just want to thank you guys so much, man, for watching this video, man. Make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, man. Turn on the post notification bell so you guys never miss a freaking upload, boys. I don't know how many times I got to say it. But you guys have been absolutely killing the videos, man. The last video in literally two days hit like 1.5K views, which is absolutely unreal, man. And we also hit 150 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. It feels like it was just last week. I was thanking you guys for hitting 100 subs, so man. But you guys have been absolutely just showing so much crazy love. And, uh, you know, I just can't thank you guys enough. So thank you guys so much, man. I just keep saying this. I keep freaking just saying the same things. But that's going to be it, boys. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.